Out of my way, human, or die. Freeze! This is an actual scene taken directly from the Journeyman Project. This seven-foot-tall alloy beast is only one of the many obstacles you'll have to overcome when you play the Journeyman Project. You come from the future where the Earth is at peace. But you journey through the past where times are unraveling. This non-linear time travel adventure game puts you in the driver's seat of the world's first time machine. Somewhere, and for some reason, there has been an attempt to sabotage history. And you alone are responsible for discovering the source of this mayhem and bringing it to a halt. But enough about the story. Seeing is believing. So turn off the lights, crank up the speakers, and buckle up for a test drive of the adventure game you don't just play, you experience. The year is 2318. The location, the sky-born metropolis known as Caldoria. The Earth is finally at peace after a long, bloody battle against a few tyrants who sought total world domination. Having learned the hard way the evils of imperialism, the borders began to come down one by one. Finally, in the year 2117, the unified world was realized. Now, all that we have accomplished is being threatened by the power of time travel. Realizing its potential for destruction, the very same Democrats who initiated the building of the time machine immediately discontinued the project once they saw a working prototype. Temporal travel now being a reality, they brought the time machine to a secret location and formed an agency to protect the flow of history. The project, codename Journeyman.
Good morning. Once again, it's another beautiful day here in the peaceful, skyborn metropolis of Kaldoria. And unless you've been trapped in some kind of time warp, you know that today marks the culmination of ten years of debate, as all of Earth awaits the arrival of the alien delegate Energy from the symbiotry of peaceful beings. Their goal? To welcome the entire human race into their interplanetary alliance of sentient beings. Our love is at the Capitol building right now with a live update. Megan, Megan, can you hear me? I'm right here. Thanks, Johnny. Ten years ago today, Earth was visited by a race of aliens who called themselves the Sirenians. They told us that they were here to invite us into an alliance which they called the Symbiote of Peaceful Beings. The purpose of this alliance, they said, is simply to share knowledge and culture with other alien races. They then left after saying they would give us exactly 10 years to deliberate their proposal. Today is the day of their return. All along the streets of Kaldoria and here in the Capitol building, it's amazing, Johnny, there are thousands of people gathered hoping to catch a glimpse of the Sorolan delegate as the procession heads this way. We've heard various rumors that a fleet of ships have already been detected on long-range radar and should soon be arriving. And with each new rumor, the excitement here seems to grow tenfold. Back to you at the studio, Johnny. Thank you, Megan Love. This morning's broadcast was brought to you by Future Cola, the choice of a peaceful generation. I'm Johnny Ego, and you're listening to the mellow sounds of WKIM Too Big. Welcome to Caldoria Heights Apartments, the best view of Caldoria. While here, please feel free to visit our rooftop observatory. Located directly across from the Capitol Building in Sector 3, Caldoria Heights plays host to a number of luxurious accommodations. Our 15 units offer ample living space and the very best views of the city. Aluminized steel plumbing and titanium bathroom fixtures are standard. And topping off this list of distinctive features is a high-res 4D environ system built into each and every living room. 
Designed for metro properties by Marco Giappitti, Caldoria Heights offers comfortable accommodations in an attractive environment. Global Transporter Caldoria Heights Apartments, Sector 3. Searching for open transport route now. Route accessed. Upon entering, transport card will be required. Thank you for using Global Transport. Foreign organism detected in transport. Please hold for tracking and sterilization process. Foreign element eliminated. Please insert your global transport card now. Choose a destination. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers organic substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Completing molecular reintegration. Thank you for using Global Transport. Global Transporter vacant. Verification of cranial contour scan. Verification of central cortex scan. ID scan confirmed. Welcome, Agent 5. Your fourth late arrival has been verified and logged. Please report at once to the command center. Mandatory review session scheduled. Activate upper left monitor. The particle accelerating space-time transporter version one otherwise known as Pegasus, was the brainchild of part-time historian, full-time physicist, Elliot Sinclair. 
In 2311, after seeing Sinclair's time-bending experiments, the government contracted him to build a full-scale operational time machine. The purpose of this device was to explore our past, as well as to discover the truth behind many disputed historical events. Just four years after the project was begun, the world's first time machine underwent its first test run. However, due to mounting concerns by individuals who believed that the machine would be used not only to explore history, but also to alter it, the test run would be the first and last time that the machine would be used for research purposes. The project was discontinued, and Sinclair was forbidden to ever work on time distortion projects again. Time travel now being a reality, the government secretly set up the Temporal Security Annex, as a means to safeguard history from sabotage. You, the members of the Temporal Protectorate, are among the very few who know of its existence. The simplest analogy for the theory of time travel is that of a tunnel in time. When someone travels through time, a tunnel is created which originates when travel is begun and ends when the traveler lands. If some event in the past is altered, theory states a rip occurs in the fabric of time, which gives rise to a temporal chain reaction. This chain reaction takes the form of a reality distortion wave and could take anywhere from a few seconds to several hours to reach the present. Of those who aren't uncreated when the distortion wave hits, many will suddenly have a new life, and the past as we know it will cease to exist. Traveling back in time before the distortion wave hits, though, allows an agent to jump over the distortion wave and escape its effects. So as a member of the Temporal Protectorate, you alone will have the ability to jump back in time and prevent the corruption from ever happening. And to ensure that it doesn't happen again, you'll have to discover the source of this disruption and bring it to a halt. In the event that it becomes necessary to restore the proper course of history, the procedure is as follows. As quickly as possible, get to the ready room and use the bio support suit generator. The bio support suit is an indispensable element of the time travel process and is essential for your protection. Next, get your assigned mapping and Pegasus biochips and the journeyman key from the cabinet next to the bio suit generator. The Pegasus biochip is your link to Pegasus. It is what allows you to be pulled back to the present at the touch of a button. After you're outfitted for travel, but before the reality distortion wave reaches the present, you must jump to the year 200 million BC. Upon arriving there, use the journeyman key to open the storage vault and obtain the journeyman historical log. Since it exists at a point in time previous to any likely temporal changes, this disk serves as a source of unaltered historical information. To discover how history has been changed, head back to the Temporal Security Annex and insert the journeyman disk into the computer. It will be cross-referenced with the historical log, which was left behind to be altered by the reality distortion wave. Knowing how, when, and where the past was changed should give you the information you need to restore the proper flow of history. A word of caution, though. Time is very sensitive to change. In order to keep from altering history worse than it already has been, try to solve the problems you encounter without changing anything. As a rule, a temporal protectorate agent should never interfere with any events of the past. Never leave anything behind that came from a different time never remove any historically important objects from a time zone. And above all else, an agent should never interact with beings from another time zone. Temporal 
distortion element. Agent 5, proceed to the room.
insert log disk to initiate historical reconfiguration and comparison. This door will unlock in an emergency. Welcome to Crusade Planitia, more commonly known as Mars. Like a heavenly siren, Mars lures us to its inhospitable shores with visions of unearthly splendor. The atmosphere of this planet 
which is composed mainly of carbon dioxide, is only one one hundredth as dense as that of Earth. However, thanks to an atmospheric energy shield, you can enjoy the majesty of the immense volcano Olympus Mons, the vast canyons known as Copertes and Copertes Minor, and many of Mars' other natural wonders from within the comfort of Morimoto Corporation's Mars colony. The generator for the colony's atmospheric shield lies far beneath the planet's surface, the legacy of the miners whose abandoned caverns this colony is built over. Construction of the colony should be completed by June of 2190. Please enjoy your stay. The Morimoto Mars colony occupies two square miles of space on the edge of the canyon known as Copertis Minor. The walls of this canyon host the shuttle docking bay as well as the gantry from which the shuttles are launched and the accelerator tube which shoots them out into space. A closer look at the gantry reveals its 140 foot stretch across the canyon and the three cockpit module nose which transport pilots to and from the ships. You are currently in the entry hall of the shuttle port. The red areas at the top and bottom of the map indicate remnants of the old mining colony which have not yet been renovated. These areas are for authorized personnel only. The path at the left center of the map is the main entrance to the colony. Maintenance transport ready.
detected in card slot. To deactivate the explosive device, complete the electrosynaptic connections by filling them in with the appropriate color nodes. Now accessing level 1, node 1, red, node 2, yellow, node 3, green, zero nodes correct, node 1, green, node 2, yellow, node 3, red, one node correct, node 1, green, node 2, red, node 3, yellow, three nodes correct. You have completed level 1. Now accessing level 2. Node 1, red. Node 2, green. Node 3, blue. Zero nodes, correct. Node 1, blue. Node 2, red. Node 3, green. Zero nodes, correct. Node 1, yellow. Node 2, blue. Node 3, red. One node, correct. Node 1, green. Node 2, blue. Node 3, yellow. Three nodes, correct. You have completed level 2. Now accessing level 3. Node 1, red. Node 2, purple. Node 3, blue. Zero nodes, correct. Node 1, purple. Node 2, blue. Node 3, green. Two nodes, correct. Node 1, purple. Node 2, blue. Node 3, red. Two nodes, correct. Node 1, purple. Node 2, blue. Node 3, yellow. Three nodes, correct. You have completed level 3. The explosive device has been disarmed. You may now remove the explosive device manually. Support systems not active beyond this point.
Shuttle 2 has just departed from East Gantry. Emergency shuttle lock override. Unauthorized launch of Shuttle 2, over. I copy that. Launch of Shuttle 2 confirmed. What is Shuttle 2's current location, over? Shuttle 2 appears to be headed towards the launch tube. Hang on a sec. We have an unauthorized breach of security at Shuttle 3, over. Current location? Shuttle 3 is still at bay in East Gantry, over. Roger. Sending security force to East Gantry. Requesting manual override on launch sequence for Shuttle 3, over. That's a negative. The whole security grid on the East Gantry seems to be down. Please secure all loose objects. Prepare for drop launch. Generating propulsor waves. Stand by for atmospheric breakaway. The Graviton Cannon is a highly destructive combat weapon. The energy damping beam will safely drain a targeted ship of energy for tracking purposes. The tractor beam can only hold a targeted ship whose energy level has been drained below 10%. Attention Tower, Shuttles 2 and 3 have both armed their weapons systems. It looks like the lead shuttle has locked its graviton cannon on the alien spacecraft. Estimated time till intercept, five minutes. The tractor field range limited to... Pre-transportation scan reveals damage to targeted ship. In its attempt to break free from tractor field, all onboard electrical systems were overloaded. Verifying coordinates. Scanning destination area. Destination safe for transport. The alien ship must be destroyed. Central processor damaged. Self-destruct sequence initiated.
select a destination from the listing on the left monitor. Ares, I'm sending you to Earth's colony on Mars in the year 2185. There you must accomplish two events simultaneously. First, you will plant the delayed action explosive device I've given you in such a way that you will wipe out the entire colony by blowing up their atmospheric shield generator. But before the bomb detonates, you must hijack an armed escort shuttle and destroy the alien who was reported in that vicinity at that exact time. The result of this plan is two-edged. <laughs> Earth will think that the aliens wiped out their colony. The aliens will think that Earth destroyed their ship. What better plan could I have to keep everyone reminded of who the real enemy is and where the real danger lies? Select a destination from the listing on the left monitor.
Now completing download of molecular information from Compound Analyzer. Diamond hydrinate is a relaxant commonly found in sleep and health aids. In combination with other drugs, its effects can be overpowering. For this reason, it is used as a base for many different forms of tranquilizers. 3. Thorazine-based molecules have been pre-programmed. These molecules are stable. Base molecule number 1. Base molecule number two. Base molecule number three. Three staple thorazine-based molecules have been designed. Building base molecules. Bonding additional molecules. Synthesis complete. The synthesized compound will appear in the molecular synthesizer. Self-destruct sequence initiated. Mercury. 
I'm sending you to eliminate my adversary, Enrique Castillo, who thought he was doing the world such a favor, convincing them that I was insane to fear alien contact. Well, I'm not the one. I'm not the one who's inviting death into my home. The only place I can be sure of finding him is on stage at the alien contact rally eight years ago, so I'm sending you to the World Science Center in the year 2310. Try to make his death look accidental, but whether or not you succeed at that, do everything you have to to ensure his demise. Select a destination from the listing on the left monitor. Station 1, improper access credentials. Warning. All personnel. Contamination detected. Warning. Unequal pressure between this chamber and subduct. Equalize pressure before entering. Avoid maximum pressure. Some objects may implode.
Defense Command Post on Security Alert. Access denied. Please hold for 10 seconds for an Alpha Sector Retinal ID scan. I just broke the launch code, human. You'll never stop me. Nuclear strike authorized. Red alert. Nuclear safeguard. Primary target. Gorbastan. Launch, launch silo selected. Honolulu, Hawaii. Launch to proceed in two minutes. To deactivate a missile before launch, use the trackball to move the cursor over the active silo, then touch the override button. Launch eminent. Abort launch sequence from manual override terminal only. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Dublin, Ireland. Launch to proceed in 1 minute 50 seconds. Red alert. Red alert. Nuclear safeguards disabled. Missile launch. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Addis Adeba, Ethiopia. Launch to proceed in 1 minute 40 seconds. You cannot possibly win. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. San Antonio, Texas. Launch to proceed in 1 minute 30 seconds. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Bangkok, Thailand. Launch to proceed in 1 minute 20 seconds. <laughs> you will fail. Red alert. Red alert. Nuclear safeguards disabled. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Bonn, Germany. Launch to proceed in 1 minute 10 seconds. Red alert. Red alert. Nuclear safeguards disabled. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Seoul, Korea. Launch to proceed in one minute. Give up, human, or I will be forced to eliminate you. Red alert. Red alert. Nuclear safeguards disabled. Missile launch eminent. Abort launch sequence from manual override terminal. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Reykjavik, Iceland. Launch to proceed in 50 seconds. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Svortalsk, Siberia. Launch to proceed in 40 seconds. You are running out of time. Red alert. Silo deactivated. New launch silo selected. Madrid, Spain. 
Launch to proceed in 30 seconds. Red alert. Red alert. Nuclear safe. Silo deactivated. Maximum deactivation allotment exceeded. Global launch override safety feature engage. All silos deactivated. <sighs> the only good human is a dead human. Processor damaged. Self-destruct sequence initiated. sending you to the deep sea installation NORAD 6 in the year 2112, where you will disrupt the world unity talks by launching a nuclear missile towards Gorbistan. You will detonate the warhead before it touches down. That should suffice to delay world unification. I can only pray that it will not also touch off a nuclear holocaust. I, I, I wish, I wish it had not come to this. But until now, it has been entirely out of my control. If the bureaucrats who scrapped the Pegasus project had instead used it in the way it was meant to be used, they would have realized that aggressors always choose the most unsuspecting victim. The Indians, the Africans, the Jews, the Swedes were all lulled into a sense of complacency before they were overpowered by their, by their conquerors. Our, our, our alien friends tell us that they come in the name of peace, a tactic used by all the worst offenders
years throughout history. And so I am left to do what I can, what I can to ensure that humanity itself is not the next victim. I'm sending you all back in history to rewrite our future, to rewrite, to write us a new future in which we will not offer these creatures an engraved invitation to enslave us all. And if you fail, I will be forced myself to demonstrate personally that we are not all as docile as we might seem. I know the one place in all of Sector 3 with the best view of the Capitol building. And from that place, by, by the use of a weapon of my own devising, I will assassinate the Cyril and Delicate myself. And if, God forbid, I should fail, one touch of the button on my remote detonator will be enough to end it all. Obliterating Caldoria and this foul infestation along with it. Security Annex Global Transport. Location classified. Searching for open transport route now. Route accessed. Upon entering, transport card will be required. Thank you for using Global Transport. Insert your global transport card now. Choose a destination. Preparing destination transporter. Recording passengers' organic substratum. Prepare for molecular disintegration. Completing molecular reintegration. Thank you for using global transport. Global Transporter Vacant. Yes. We're sorry. The Caldoria Heights Rooftop Observatory is closed during the alien Heart procession. Activated.
Get back. Don't try to stop me. This will end it one way or another. Get back. Thank you.